So also you were telling us that you have the ambition which is to become the leading enterprise wireless networking platform. How's it going? I think it's going well, but we're early on the journey. We have obviously a, a base, a customer base of enterprises already with our wireless one edge points, our private cellular networks, as well as our increasingly our security capabilities. Mm. But we also need to be humble and say this is a huge base. Mm. Seller has quite small slice today, but that's the opportunity. Mm. That's and the opportunity for growth. Private cellular uh, prices, uh, which were uh, hair raising for quite a long time, they're coming down quite quickly. At some point um, in price terms, it does private 5G become competitive with Wi-Fi? It's not about the price point per per access points. It's mm. more about the value get out of it. Right. I think what is exciting and I think the reason why you see cellular and private cellular growing four times faster than traditional network infrastructure right now is we can bring the performance with a form factor mm. which is getting closer and closer to Wi-Fi. We're not fully there yet, right. but closer and closer with a much more compelling TCO mm. and where we can actually serve more use cases. Mm. So I think that is the value to the enterprise. For me, the opportunity in the next five or 10 years for 5G is in enterprise and vertical industry. Um, do, do you agree with that? I mean, this is music to my ears in the sense of 5G was built. I mean, when mm. the standard was developed for many, many years ago, more than a decade ago, it was actually there to solve the problems of why cellular had not become as pervasive mm. among enterprises consumers. So when it comes from tech side and what seller can solve for the enterprise mm. that wasn't there with the previous generations or with Wi-Fi infrastructure mm. that is not only wireless and agile but it's reliable business can solve business critical mission critical problems and secure and secure yeah while being infra less you can do more with less manage it with less infra with less manners to mm. manage operations and where it's more self managed leveraging mm. AI and that's we say seller first. I think uh, making it easy to set up and easier to manage is obviously very important with private 5G because it doesn't have the best reputation there in the past. Uh, but also uh, listening to you talk, I mean, I feel like the, the cost of the unit or the hardware cost is it's almost irrelevant if you're a serious business, if you're being presented with something which is less secure, uh, which doesn't support mobility, which doesn't support uh, QoS or prioritization or network slicing or something which costs more, which does all of those things, mm. I would have thought that uh, it's, it, it could become an automatic choice. Do you think that's going to happen? I mean, that's clearly the vision we're going towards, but I think equally it's not all about, it's not primarily to replace Wi-Fi. Of course, it will mm. be a role for Wi-Fi, uh, and w you know, uh, but I do think the fact we sit with so much heavy fixed infrastructure and sometimes ineffective Wi-Fi infrastructure, mm. And this is where I think it's, it's exciting because you bring, and we bring with cellular, actually the capability to meet the reliability needs that FIX has before been known for, mm. but the agility of a Wi-Fi network. Right. Uh, and I don't think it's so much about, you know, will we replace one or the other? I think increasingly we see more and more enterprising as choosing 5G and a wireless cellular network platform to meet those needs. Mm. But you also have other existing things. You have certain devices that are already just yeah, compatible sure. Wi-Fi, which is why we actually think there's an important market for mm. edge routers and adapters that can integrate to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth Definitely. because you have to you have to make sure it works yeah. with what's already out there. Yeah. Otherwise, you're living in a utopia, <laughs> <laughs> and that may work if you're kind of building everything from scratch. But we're living in a world that already exists, right? Now.